So this morning, shortly after 5 a.m., the uh, New Haven State's Attorney's Office uh, contacted and requested the assistance of uh, detectives from Central District Major Crime Squad to assist in the uh, officer of all shooting, which occurred here in the city of New Haven. Uh, this stems from an incident that uh, originated in the uh, town of Hamden. Uh, at approximately 419 this morning, Hamden Police Department received uh, a 911 call in regards to uh, an attempted armed robbery, which occurred at the Go On gas station in their town. The uh, victim in this uh, incident was a uh, newspaper delivery man, which indicated that the uh, suspect involved in this incident had an unknown weapon. According to, uh, according to uh, initial reports, the uh, suspect fled the scene in what was uh, described as a uh, red Honda Civic. Uh, shortly thereafter, officers from Hamden Police Department were able to locate that vehicle here behind me at, a pro uh, at the uh, intersection of Dixwell and Argyle Street. Uh, officers from Yale PD arrived on scene and both officers attempted to block the vehicle in and attempt to uh, make contact with the vehicles. I mean, an attempt to make contact with the uh, suspected party. While attempting to uh, make contact with that party, the uh, suspected uh, party exited the vehicle in an abrupt manner, turned towards officers, at which point officers fired at least uh, one round at the suspect. Uh, during the course of the incident, the uh, female passenger in the uh, red Honda Civic, which was seated in the front uh, passenger section, was struck at least one time in the uh, lower torso. Medical attention was rendered there on scene. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, front seat passenger was later transported to uh, Yale New Haven Hospital, where she is currently uh, st uh, listed as a uh, stable condition. Like I said, uh, as any officer involved shooting, this is an active and ongoing investigation. A lot of the information pertaining to this particular incident is still coming in, so therefore we'll be extremely limited in terms of what we can uh, release right here on scene. However, there will be a, a press release sent out shortly, later this afternoon, with uh, a bit more information. Happening today. More meetings and more protests are planned for today after an officer involved shooting in New Haven. Protesters marched through the city last night and into the morning calling for change. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo is live in New Haven this morning with more on what the protesters are asking for. Caitlin? Well, not only do they want justice for the victim, but they also want the officers to be fired. Right now, the police officer from Hamden and the one from Yale are both being placed on administrative leave. And both departments say they'll release more information about all this, but they can't do that until the state's attorney's office investigation is complete. <laughs> The protesters are demanding action after 22-year-old Stephanie Washington was shot in the New Hallville section of the city. The group was on the move last night, marching from Elm Street to College Street to the intersection with Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, chanting along the way and filling the streets. The protests come after an officer-involved shooting. An Eyewitness News viewer sent us this video. They say it captures the moment when police engaged with the car that they were looking for after a reported attempted robbery. Hamden Police Officer Devin Eaton and Yale Police Officer Terrence Pollock fired into that car, which they say matched the description of the one they were looking for. The driver, Paul Witherspoon, was not hurt. Neither Witherspoon nor Washington were armed, and police found no weapons inside their car. Both police departments say they plan to release more information once the investigation by the state's attorney's office is complete. I believe it's very important for people to speak out, um, especially injustice against women of color, um, and that's what we're showing today. Well, Reverend from here in New Haven is going to meet with the Hamden town mayor today and police leadership as well. We'll, of course, keep following this for you, bringing the latest here on the air and also on the Channel 3 app. We're live in New Haven, Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now this morning, Yale police have named the officer who is involved in that shooting of a couple in New Haven. A woman is still recovering after being shot, and now there's growing anger over that shooting that has protesters calling for action. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo is live in Hamden this morning with the latest on the investigation. Kate? Well, that shooting involved police officers, two of them, one from Hamden and one from Yale University. We now know both of their names. And one of the things that leaders are now looking at is what to do and how to proceed when police activity crosses town lines. 
Yesterday, this video sent to Eyewitness News by a viewer shows the moment when police engage with the car they were looking for after a reported attempted armed robbery in Hamden. It shows Hamden officer Devin Eaton firing several shots at a car matching the description of the one they were looking for. 22-year-old Stephanie Washington was hurt but is expected to survive. Her boyfriend, Paul Witherspoon, was in the car as well but was not hurt. Police confirmed no weapons were found inside that car. Yesterday, Hamden police released the officer's name and say Eaton has been placed on administrative leave. And this morning, Yale said their officer, Terrence Pollock, has been placed on leave as well. Last night, protesters took to the streets in New Haven calling for action. And it's not okay that they have not taken action. And we are committed to showing up here every day until they take action. And that video that we just showed you has now been turned over to the state's attorney's office. They will decide whether this shooting was justified. And of course, we'll continue to follow this investigation for you. We'll bring you the latest here on the air and also on the Channel 3 app. We're live in Hamden this morning. Caitlin Duclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, Eyewitness News looking, looking for answers. In New Haven, members of the clergy spent the morning meeting with the state's attorney's office. Today's sit-down sit down comes seven days, days after Officer Pollock from Hamden Police and Yale University Police shot at a car with an Unarmed, unarmed couple, couple inside. inside. Again, Again, we're looking, looking at video, video from the night, night the shooting, shooting happened. happened. Channel 3, 3 New Haven Bureau, Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the mobile, mobile newsroom in Hamden, Hamden now with, with the latest on the story today. Matt? Well, well these, these protesters, protesters are expected to be here at Hamden Memorial Town Hall, 6 o'clock for a budget meeting. They want the town to fund an independent study and investigation into this officer involved shooting. Busy days in the United States Attorney's Office. They say a search warrant for investigators to get inside and look at that car that was involved in the shooting. Also, as you mentioned, they met with the clergy members in New Haven. Now, the clergy said they couldn't get into the details, but they say it was a productive meeting, and they're looking forward to the body camera video, which will be released this week. He has assured us and this community uh, that um, uh, we can look for uh, justice to prevail. And after meeting with the New Haven State's attorney addressing their concerns over last week's officer involved shooting, Reverend Dr. Boise Kimber and other New Haven pastors believe justice will be served. We believe and, uh, that this office here uh, is going to be honest and true with this uh, uh, community. It's, it's a community, community that's been holding rallies and protests and, and even shutting, shutting down streets since, since Hampton and Yale officers. Also developing tonight, hundreds of protesters closed the streets of Hamden as they marched to the steps of the police department. This is all in response to the police shooting at an unarmed couple in New Haven. The officers involved are now on administrative leave. Channel 3's Rachel Yankunas is joining us live now from the scene in Hamden. Rachel, this is the third night of protest, correct? Kevin, that's right, and hundreds of people stood on these steps demanding answers and demanding that the Hamden police officer who opened fire is forced out of the job. Hundreds of protesters spilling into the streets of Hamden, blocking all four lanes of traffic on Route 10, marching nearly two miles to the Hamden Police Department. A raging response to this incident in New Haven. This video sent to Eyewitness News by a viewer shows the moment when Hamden police engaged with a car they were looking for after a reported attempted armed robbery in Hamden. It shows Hamden officer Devin Eaton firing several shots at the car matching the description of the one they were looking for. Those bullets injuring 22-year-old Stephanie Washington, who is still recovering in the hospital. State police say Yale officer Terrence Pollitt was also at the scene. Activists demand answers. We need transparency. Also, we need to know what is the status of the officer? Oh, this could have been my child. This could have been anybody's child in New Haven. Washington's boyfriend, Paul Witherspoon, also 22, was in the car but not injured. His uncle saying this. We need to focus on everything. All kind of, all kind of violence. You know what I mean? The violence that we got amongst ourselves, the violence that we have with the cops. Like, there's a lot that's going on. And this, this movement right here, right now, should be about trying to resolve all that kind of stuff. Both officers involved have been placed on leave. Connecticut State Police Major Crime Squad is handling this investigation.
live in Hamden. I'm Rachel Young, Kuna's Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Rachel, if I may, I know many people want to know why Hamden police cross city lines and they're urging police to uh, release the body camera footage. What's the status on that? Kevin State Police is expect to release details of the case, including a body camera video next week. But protesters say they expect to be out on the streets every day until the Hamden officer is fired. Kevin. All right, Rachel, reporting live from Hamden. Thank you. Happening right now, a call to action. Protesters demanding change following a police shooting earlier this month. They're once again taking their message to the mayor of Hamden and the police department. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McCrone is live in Hamden now with the newest information for us, Matt. Well, Dennis and Denise, this group meeting here at the Hamden Library, making artwork, signing uh, letters that they're going to be delivering to Hamden's mayor. You can see them here right now. They'll eventually march uh, to the town government center. Uh, and uh, they said they're going to bring those letters to the mayor and the police commission. Meanwhile, for the family of Paul Witherspoon, the man whom Hamden and Yale officers shot at, we spoke to their fi his family earlier today, and they say while they're thankful for this type of community support, they say they don't appreciate cl clergy members speaking on their behalf. You know, I don't want to name names, but I see a lot of these ministers and they're having these press conferences. Nobody has even invited me to, to attend any of these meetings. In fact, Keisha Green, Paul Witherspoon's mother, says only a few people have reached out to her and her family in the days and weeks after Hamden Officer Devin Eaton and Yale Officer Terrence Pollock opened fire at her son and his girlfriend Stephanie Washington. And today, Green and her uncle Rodney Williams said they feel some in the community are only looking to get their name out. This is life changing for those kids. So these kids it's life changing for them and it's unfair that the people that we look for for leadership and guidance that they're using this to, to forefront their own agenda. Since the shooting, a number of New Haven clergy members have met with the state's attorney's office and Yale's president about changes they'd like to see in the wake of the police shooting. Like I had to tell one of the pastors yesterday, I was here before you got here and I'm going to be here when you leave. All my kids, my family live right here. I didn't migrate here and I'm not leaving. On Sunday, the Varick Memorial AME Zion Church on Dixwell held a prayer service inviting Hamden, Yale, and New Haven police. Yesterday was a very powerful service, but one thing that the family needs to understand is that our prayers are with them, but it's our business to pray. Pastor Kelsey Steele says they're praying not just for the family, but for policing in America, saying all they want is unity. It's bigger than us, and it's bigger than them. It's about all of us collectively coming together to ensure that this does not happen again. Which is something everyone wants. At the end of the day, this struggle has been a struggle that's ongoing. This is not something that's new. There's been a, a discord between Hamden and New Haven. Now coming up tonight, live at 6, we'll have more on this action by the protesters again. They're taking their message to the Hamden mayor, and uh, uh, we're going to have that live at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Hamden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.